Jazzy Bird, welcome back to Lego Brick Tales. In the last episode, we explored the desert and got the story done 100%. Now we'll be doing the same thing, hopefully, with our next area, the medieval world. Ooh, very cool. So, yeah, with this one, we have another story to explore, more things to figure out. So let's get started and hop into that portal and see what's going to be going on in the medieval world. Ooh, so we're in some kind of castle or village. Yeah, definitely a castle. Lots of people seem to need our help. So let's see what we can do. Maybe I'll talk to the soldier down there first. The people here don't look good. Let's see if there's some way for us to help. Oh, this is the perfect opportunity to say, take me to your leader. I've always wanted to do that. I know it's a few centuries too early for them to get the reference, but we can still have a laugh about it. <laughs> All right then, so I'll try to keep that in mind. Either way, we need to speak with the king. We have the chief of guard, Ricarda. Uh, we're on lockdown, everyone. Nobody goes in or out until the danger is passed. And there's a chest we can break open if I switch over to the slam. Here we go, break this one too. And let's get our first chest already. What is going to be the currency of this area? It'll be chicken, I think. Drumsticks, we got 10 drumsticks, very cool. <laughs> nice, all right then, so at least we'll be eating well. Uh, can I talk to you at all? This is the really well builder. Ow, 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 I hurt so bad and I have a terrible thirst. Slurp, slurp, say, does this water taste strange to anyone else? Yeah, I wanna drink that water, it's green. So, we got the bird, very cool. So we always have more of those to find, but there's another, oh, there's a little chicken, can I click that? Cheep, cheep, I guess not. Hello, this is the chicken keeper. All day long, nothing but running after the chickens. Uh, I guess a coop would help a lot. We I mean, have some kind of little house here, but it doesn't seem to keep them in very well. Either way, maybe we can help with that later. Oh, we got a blacksmith over here, it seems like. An industrious smith. I sure hope I don't get sick. Who will make the weapons if I do? What's this? The water I brought from home is almost empty. I better go fill it up at the well. I don't know if you should do that, but it uh, looks like somebody else here is sick too. The char burner. Ooh, my tummy, it's so rumbly. How can I work when I'm feeling like this? Some tough working conditions, but can we get up here to the railroad? Oh, we can. This is cool. But is there anything up here? Nothing I can reach at the moment, but eventually, hopefully. Uh, for right now, we'll just go back down. And into the main castle itself. This looks like it's gonna be cool. Let's enter. Whoa, okay. So where's the king? It looks like we have the king's chef, the kitchen chef. What shall we do? All people are sick. I hope it's not my food. Oh, I think it's the water. <laughs> they are not feeling good. That doesn't sound good at all. You should put your mask on in case it's contagious. All right then. So mask on, head in. And let's see what else we could do. We got a little gesture over here. The uh, the gesture Hilde, or Hild, I'm not sure. Um, in times of trouble, times of worry, we need a solution in a hurry before our tail goes up in smoke and no one is left to laugh at my jokes. I agree, so let's talk to the king who's not looking happy. It's Hasty King John. This is horrible, simply awful. I can't believe this is happening to me. Why do the worst things always happen to good people? Good day, your kingliness. We've come to your aid. Have you also fallen ill? Goodness, no, how absurd, kings don't get sick. But since my subjects are all ill, no one can work or pay their taxes. It's that evil serpent, the dragon who lives beyond our walls. The vile creature has poisoned our water. How did you come to learn of this treachery, Mr. King, sir? And what can we do to help? All of my guards and knights have fallen ill. I command you to ride forth and slay the foul beast. It will be dangerous. You may not return, but in times of hardship, a leader must be willing to make sacrifices. All right, then. What are you still doing here? I gave you a job to do. Now go find that dragon and slay it. My king stinked <laughs> tells me that that will end this horrible curse and cure my people. Well, cool pun. Uh, go to the Dragon Valley. Maybe that's up here? Not quite, so we'll have to find out where exactly the Dragon Valley is, but there's only one way to go for now, and that's west, so we'll figure it out. They're looking like, they're, they're at least on their feet. Ugh, I can't go on, I feel so icky. Oh, oh he doesn't have much to say, but uh, what shall we do, all the people are sick, yep. So let's try maybe going up the steps. Ooh, hold on, there's something to do right here. It's another one of these. <laughs> I still don't know how to use. Eventually we'll figure it out, I'm sure. But for right now, I can at the least break this open. A little bit more too, got it. And get another chameleon, 15 more to go. So what's going on up the stairs? 
Whoa, okay, we have you to talk to. This is the academic architect. Ugh, I feel awful, I can't work under these conditions. And I guess we're going back inside. Yeah, okay, there's not too much we could do there then. So I think our main goal should just definitely get to Dragon Valley to, to cure this water, or most of these people won't have many things to say to us, so. Where are we headed to do that? I mean, maybe if I talk to the guard, they'll let us out now that we're sort of permitted by the king. So you're off to slay the dragon? Not without the proper equipment, you're not. You're missing the most important tool in a warrior's arsenal. Knowledge and wisdom? Of course not, a huge sword as sharp as possible. Go and ask the smith, the crafty one. All right then, so go get a sword from the smith, right over this way. Hopefully they haven't drank in the water yet, doesn't look like it. Customer number 34, your order is ready. Is what I would say if your sword was ready, but I have no coal. How did you know we needed a sword? We didn't even say anything. I'm the town smith, why else would you be here? Fair point, so you need some coal. Where can we get it for you? That'd be the char burner, she can help you. I heard she's terribly sick though. So I guess we have to help you maybe feel better or maybe do your job for you. Ugh, I'm feeling awful. Sorry to disturb you, but we need some coal so that the smith can forge us a sword. I wish I could help, but my transport cart is broken and I'm too sick to fix it. Oh, that's fine, we don't need a cart. The smith is right over there. No, you can't just carry it. The king taxes the transport of all goods, so everything must be moved by transport cart. Sheesh, someone should have a chat with the king about how he treats his subjects. Not to worry, we'll fix your cart so the stupid king can get his stupid taxes. All right then, so I guess we gotta do it this way. Build a container on the cart to transport the coal, sounds good. So here we are, we have a lot of pieces to build with this one. How do we wanna start things? I guess we could do something like that. Oh, we actually have two of those. You know what I could do? Rotate them like this. Yeah, because we have enough to do something like that, so we can make it a, a nice big card. I yeah, move the pieces to the right spots. That seems good, because it needs to get 90% of the coal back to the target area and nothing may break. So we need it to be big, sturdy, but also have a good volume to it. So yeah, I guess two pieces to the side like that. And then if we could, if this is four pieces wide, that's perfect. So we'll get one more like this. And then maybe, since we have so many more of those, maybe I could just do this. Hold on. There we go. Oh no, <laughs> wait, why is it doing that? It's not what I want. Much better, okay. And then just move this over. How many more do we have left? I think that's all of them. Okay, so there you go, it's pretty tall up there. But if I were to simulate things now, all the coal falls in, and it moves over no problem. Obviously it is uh, not very fancy. Oh, okay, it's supposed to be, yeah, I got scared for a moment. Oh, I see though, you can see that it needs to roll out. So that's where the complicated part comes in, but that's where we actually have some fun ideas we could use. If we were to just do this, I think, this should get the job done. And then also on the other side, just to make sure it stays in the designated spot, doesn't really get caught up over here. Okay, that's not what I wanted. Um, there we go, much better. Anything else I wanna do here? I don't think so, let's simulate this. Oh no, some of it falls out, but that's not the end of the world, I suppose. Uh, there you go. Okay, we can finish it like that then. It's not a perfect system, but it's an effective one for what we need. Thank you so much for helping me. Unfortunately, I still feel terrible. Well, hopefully we'll work on that part soon. For now, let's talk to the Smith. We've got your, the coal you needed. Great, I'll get started on it right away. So they're making our sword for us. Hooray! Here you go, one sword hot off the anvil. Wow, that was quick, thanks. So I'll grab this. A sword, be careful where you point it. I will. Good luck on the rest of your quest. Alrighty then, so with our sword at our disposal, we are going to uh, go back to the guard. Look at you, almost looking like a real dragon slayer. <laughs> Best of luck to you. So I guess, oh yeah, they're gonna open up the door. And it's a big drawbridge too, that's cool. Going to face the dragon, I wish you luck. By the way, do you know why dragon mamas keep knights out of, re of the reach of young dragons? 
because small parts are a choking hazard. <laughs> All right then, so let's keep going and travel north. So here we are, and I guess we already have to make a bridge to go over that way, but what's over here before we do, before we get to building? Oh, it's like a little hut. Somebody's sleeping in there. I think you hear an army of sawing lumberjacks. We should watch out for falling logs. Oh my, that's someone snoring. Whoever is in there needs to have their sinuses checked. All right, well maybe we could talk to them? No, we can't quite go in. So they're snoozing, we don't wanna wake them. Instead, I wanna build this. Build a nice medieval stone bridge. Ooh, okay, so we're just right back to building. But with this one, ooh, I definitely have an idea with these. And then we'll get another one, flip it over, and put it over here the same way. So that's a good start. And then maybe from here I could, hmm, how exactly do I wanna do it? I could put these across. I think that's a good idea. There you go. Hmm. So that's some good stuff there. Uh, do I wanna keep with that? I could also, yeah, yeah, put these here. Perfect. And would that connect the way it's supposed to? I guess not, whoa, 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 hold on, undo, remove that. And I could do something like this just to keep it going. Not bad, but how do I get it across the rest of this? I think I have 24 of these, so that could be good. For right now, let's, um, That doesn't quite reach, unfortunately. Hmm. I'm trying to figure out the best way to do this one. Because as you can see, I can sort of do this at the least. It's not perfect, but you know, it gets some kind of job done. I do want to make it a little bit more stable by putting this there, okay. And if we zoom in a little bit more, that might help. I can do the same thing on this side, but before I do, once again, put this there and here. Very cool. So that'll definitely be sturdy enough to hold weight, I think. Obviously, if we needed more, we could try to set up more, but I don't think we do. Uh, and then just put this here. Obviously, if I were to simulate this right now, it works just fine. But I want more, if possible. I wanna make it look a little fancier, because I feel like we just don't do that as much. Because we can make it look like a proper little medieval bridge with the little, I guess, railings on the side, whatever you'd call these. I think that's cool. It's obviously nothing too crazy, but could even build them up a little higher at some spots or something. I don't know if that's entirely necessary though. If that'd make it look too tall. It sort of does, so I think I'll leave that. But then we can um, add some tiles like these just around. And I might make them have some kind of pattern, but also, there we go. I don't know if that'll exactly work. Hmm. Let's do something like that for now. I might not be able to get every tile covered. Yeah, let's just do a crisscross pattern for now, I guess. There we go. And I can't get every single one of them, so what we could do is make it look a little like it's, hmm. Yeah, like this, where there's just a couple of pieces missing. It looks like it's strewn about, like it has some age to it or something, like it's, it's sort of fallen apart over time. Um, I think that's cool. Right now I'm just sort of shimmying some of them over. There you go. Uh, not perfect, but I think it looks fine. And then we can add some different stuff, like I could add this here, and maybe this one right over this way. You get this white piece too I could add. There you go, I like it. Maybe I'll actually do something like that here. I'll do this one and that one. There you go, I want it to sort of look a little random as if it's been sort of shuffled up over the years. Let's simulate it. Obviously, it's still gonna work just fine. So, I think we're good. Oh wait, I didn't want to, <laughs> wanted to, I always click the simulate when I want to finish. There you go, a nice little medieval bridge. I think it blends in pretty well. So let's see what else we're up to. I don't think we can go to the gate at the moment. So, let's try heading down here. Oh, I like the trees. And I guess through this way? Seems about right. Oh, we can go under the bridge. Very cool landscape around here. I don't know if I'm going the way I'm supposed to be going, or is this gonna be some extra stuff? Oh, there's like a wizard or a witch or something. 
The wizard imposter. Abraka doodles. Your arms are now noodles. <laughs> Only joking. But in all seriousness, I can't find my rabbits anywhere. I keep reaching into the hat and just nothing. Can you bring them back to me? There are 20 rabbits in total. Oh, you already found some? Please bring me more. So I've actually found some of the rabbits, but it looks like we need many, many more of them. And as you can see, there's one waiting for us right here. So how many do we have left? 16, so we've only found four so far. And what's going on around here? Uh, I can slam some other stuff. But I don't think there'll be too much around. I guess there's something. Oh, it's a treasure chest, awesome. So I'll gladly grab this, open this up, and that has some more drumsticks. We're up to 20 drumsticks in total, so we can start buying stuff when we get to the shop. That'll be great. But in the meantime, I gotta get back from where we came from. Okay, so we're back. It looks like there's still a little bit more over this way, but we're just going to enter the cave. Ooh, and there is a little chest over there. I'll have to find a way over, but for right now, I think another hermit crab waiting for us. Very spooky in here. Oh, and a ladybug, we definitely need those. So it seems like every little critter we're collecting is going to go to some kind of a larger quest. I'm guessing we'll get a new one every area we go to. So returning to areas after we're done sort of the main game seems like it's going to be something we'll have to focus on if we want to collect everything, which I definitely do. So, oh, we're back outside already. That was quick. Uh, can grab this little bird, maybe. There we go. And what about over here? Oh, I can pull this down and we can get through that way. Well, in the meantime, uh, there we go. Forgot what button it was. Let's open this up. So we're going to get probably another 10 drumsticks. Yep, 10 drumsticks. I sort of want to go back into the cave though. I feel like there might've been more we might've missed. We head back down. It looked like there were some other ways around. And obviously, I might be able to explore more of this later on, so maybe it's not worth worrying about too much, but I just wanted to make extra sure. If I can get some extra drumsticks right now, that'd be great. So what's going on down this way? Obviously, we're down by the treasure chest now, but is there anything to actually grab, or is it just one big circle that I went into? I think there's extra down here. Uh, not anything I can interact with really too much, as you can see. I, I, I can materialize this thing, but I can't do anything with it. So whenever we find out how to use that thing, we're gonna get so much done, that's for sure. Okay, so back up this staircase as we climb this mountain, castle, whatever this is. See, I guess we're just in an old castle. Oh, what is this about? Whoa, it's the dragon, hello. You doing okay? Urgh, who dares to approach me and with this ugly stick too? What do you want to achieve with it? Scratch me? That could be pleasing. I've had this terrible itch. Ah, hey! Come on, spit out your business with me. Quite the formidable dragon. Um, uh, I've been thinking, doesn't this seem a little odd? What if the king was wrong and the dragon's not to blame? I found that talking can solve any problem, but fighting just makes more. We should try asking the dragon what she thinks before attacking her blindly. The king said you poisoned the water and that's why all the people in the town have fallen ill. Did you do it? The king said what? We have coexisted for generations and now he wants to square up. I simply won't stand for it. I'm sorry you were lied to, my little flying friend. I don't know what the king's plan is, but I would never stoop to poisoning innocent people. If I had a problem with the town, I have much better tools at my disposal. And we're sorry we came, up, came to your home with a weapon and accused you. We should have asked for your side of the story from the start. But the fact remains that something is still harming the villagers. Can we investigate the spring? Oh, I'm terribly sorry. Magic dragons made the water here, so we have, got, have to guard it and can only let magic people in. It's a whole thing. But if you bring me a pile of gold, I might be able to ordain you as an official magical being and let you through. Until then, only magical creatures are allowed inside. Now to get lost, I'm going to try to get back to that steamy dreamy, uh, steamy dreamy about my piles and piles of shiny gold. Well, that could have gone worse. I guess we need a pile of gold so the dragon can make us magical, whatever that means. 
maybe there's something around here, or someone around here, who, who knows where we can find some gold. So we just can't go in? Yikes, okay. So, can't talk to the dragon, they're not gonna let us in. Let's go see who can maybe help us. The only person I can think of is the one that we passed in the HUD. Are they still snoozing? Maybe we can wake them up? Because if not, I have no clue. And they're right over here anyways, so here we go. Rumble, Crah. I estimate that someone inside this house is fighting with something. Maybe a bird? Let's check it out. Okay, let's help out. Oh, look at the sword of Spawn and the rock back there, that's so cool. Like a little Excalibur. So let's head into the hut. Is this a witch's hut? Quick, quick! Oh, it's like a bird or something. Ouch, how am I supposed to build a perch for you if you keep pecking on my face? Hello, is everyone okay in here? Oh, it's the scatty wizard of Wedeglen. Uh, who's there? Oh, please help, my bird won't stop attacking me. That's the fighting we heard from outside? That's terrible, what can we do? It's my bird, ow! It won't stop pecking me, but, ah, ow, because its perch is broken, but I can't fix it if its perch, if it, ow, doesn't stop pecking me. But it's, would you stop it pecking because the perch is broken? Do you see my problem? It's sort of a snake eating its own tail situation. We love building things. Your cute little bird friend will have a brand new perch in no time. All right then, so gather enough coins by doing odd jobs. Well, this would certainly help. Help me please build a perch for my bird so it stops bothering me. <laughs> Can I dodge the bird? I guess not, so we'll head over this way and build that perch. Build a sitting perch for the wizard wizard's pet bird. Okay, so let's go for this one. Oh, and we get the little things. We need to place the wizard's pet bird, keep balance, nothing may break, and we have to wait some time. So I guess we're starting from the bottom up. So we wanna do something like that just to build like, you know, a sturdy base. I might do two of those, I guess. It can be hard to sort of tell exactly how I might want to go about this, but one of those could be good. I sort of wish I, I, I'd had more of them. Hmm. It's sort of weird how I only have the one, but I guess I could do that. I don't know, flip this one over, raise that there. There we go, I'm just trying to build some kind of base like that, Um, because as you can see, we can't just connect this to the top at all. It's gonna have to like sort of go downwards in a way. So I'm trying to figure out exactly how we're gonna do that. Hmm. It's definitely odd. So I guess for now, yeah, with these pieces, it feels tricky. Maybe I should just keep adding these. Yeah, like that. And then, hold on, there we go. And then, oh no, let's remove that, and then just move these downwards. Hmm. Okay, so that's sort of working, I just need to, uh, hmm, like, I, I don't know, with these pieces, it is a little tricky. Oh gosh. Let's move one over, because what I'm trying to do is make it sort of hook across, if that makes sense. Because then say I were to do this, and then put it, it almost fits, if that makes sense. You can sort of see what I'm trying to do. The only problem, as you can see, is that I need everything to be moved over. So I guess what I could do, remove this, move all this to the side, something like that might work. I don't know if this is gonna keep balance very well, but I think it's one of those things where we have to sort of try try it out and see. But it's also still not quite low enough. What a weird thing I have to build here. Uh, we'll do something like that, and then maybe from like here. Okay, why is that not matching up? Um. I guess because it needs to be like that. So what if I were to, once again, move everything over? It doesn't connect onto that one. So how does this connect, I wonder? I guess, oh, maybe that part in the center. I thought it was this part on the edge. Okay, so that makes things, you know, complicated in their own way. Hmm. Yeah, that doesn't work. <laughs> okay, Um. huh, how am I going to get this to line up? 
Okay, I think I might have done it. This is so tricky. It looks like some nonsense I built, but I just, I don't know how else to do it. It's it's hanging. It's keeping the balance, sort of. Not really. Um, So I guess I need to add more weight on the other side. This is the most difficult one to approach. I've been trying to sort of build it backwards. Um, Nothing broke though. So what that means is at this point, I just need to add more weight on the other side, which I could do no problem. We just sort of need to build like a little branch kind of deal. Um, which I would be happy to do. Just do something like that, and then maybe something like that. Let's simulate that, and that's a, a little bit more balanced. Maybe a little bit too much on the other side now. So what if I removed a piece? Come on, come on, so far so good. Yes, this is a lot more what I'm, I'm looking for. Okay, so we got it, that was so tough. Um, let's finish it. Oh my goodness, it took some time. I hope your bird is happy now. It's nice to help an animal in need. You wouldn't believe the day we've had. I think I might believe it. Stop, stop me if I make a mistake or leave anything out. The king sent you to kill the dragon because it poisoned the well, but you decided to talk to it instead. The dragon said it didn't do it, which is true, I might add, but also won't admit you to the pool to investigate, unless you can gather enough gold to be admitted into the fold of the magically abled. Does that sound summed up? Well, yeah, but how? I'm a wizard and a magician never reveals the secrets. Take this coin as a thanks to, uh, for your brilliant construction work. Farewell. All right then, so we do get a coin here. The gold coin can be exchanged for many goods and services. Uh, we are going to, I guess, look around a little bit. It looks like there's something to interact with over here. Some kind of lever. So let's materialize that and, ooh, that's gonna open up a door over this way. Perfect. And then over here, I can break a few things open. If I get a little closer. And then, whoa, hold on, switch to this thing, and we have a treasure chest. You can't hide everything from me, Mr. Magician. There we go, materialize this, then open it up and get 10 more drumsticks. Happy to see it. So up to 30 of them? 40, actually, not bad. Not much more I can interact with from here, but what about this other room? Oh, another treasure chest and a chameleon. Very cool, so we'll open this up. And we got our 50th drumstick. Um, I'll break this open and collect another chameleon. Very cool set of collectibles there. We only need 14 more chameleons before we can go back to the jungle and make that one person happy that was looking for them. So we'll eventually get there. It's exciting. In the meantime now, what can we do here? I need to go and make other people happy so that they give me money. So I guess the best way to do that is to go back to the town and just sort of see who we can interact with. So let's travel south. All right then, so let's take a look at everything around here. Um, Oh, there's somebody new. You have a loot over here, let's talk to you. This is Smin Minstrel. I love chic bustles, I can't deny. Lords and ladies all making eyes when she's she bouncing down the stairs in that staggering dress of hers. My lady? Oh no, she missed the ser my serenade. How am I supposed to make her swoon with my sultry songs if she doesn't have a balcony? You two, you look like people who understand the desperation when a super fine lady steals your heart. Of course. Oh, you poor star-crossed lovers. We'll build your fair lady a balcony from which to swoon for you. So I guess we have to build a balcony for the window up there. Gotcha, so we gotta make our way around the chickens and uh, build a balcony for the minstrel's lady. Okay, so we're off to building again. So remember that these pieces sort of, you know, illustrate the window. So like we can't build above that spot. Actually, it's a little weird. Um, hmm. But yeah, if I were just to keep adding more and more, you're not allowed to build above that because that's where the bottom of the window is gonna be. So we'll have to try to figure that out real quick. But I think for right now, could I just, very awkward that, yeah, I guess we, we gotta do that. Um, hmm. Maybe there's even a better way to go about it. What if we, how many of these do we have? Four more after this. So I could use them all up just like that. Not a bad start. And then, oh, I see. These fit in just fine after that, and I have seven more of those. So use a good grouping of them right there. Okay, so I sort of see what's happening here for the balcony. I think we want to, we have 12 of these. So yeah, I could do one, two, three, four, five, and six, and then do the same thing 
on this side. Got it, okay, so there's that one piece of the balcony, and then I guess I could, this isn't like the prettiest thing, but you know what, these pieces is what I can do, so. And I'm pretty sure this is what I'm supposed to do, you know, that's sort of like what they're trying to give me the idea of. Got it, and got it, okay. You know, it's a cool looking balcony. Oh, you know what we could have done? Hmm, well I still could. Um. Yeah, let's, let's try it, let's maybe every other one of these. Got it. Don't know how many more I have, but just going to make it an alternating thing. I still actually have a lot more. Do I have enough to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I don't have enough for all of them. This is good enough though, because what I could do, I think, is just to make a little handle along the balcony. Go. And that's sort of the most of what I can do here, I think. I don't think I'm breaking any of the rules, but we need to cover the dotted area underneath the bricks. Oh, so was I not tall enough? Does it need to be one higher? I guess so. Hmm, so like what if I remove this, put that there, and then put this on top? See, that doesn't count? No, no, that's good, that's good. Okay, so yeah, let's remove all of those so that I can basically do that same thing again, but just double up on them. Got it. Turn that one, put that there, and then that there. So it's all symmetrical at the least, you know, and that, that's always nice. So I can add some of these. And one more, and there we go, we get the green check mark. So we're doing everything correctly. We even have a couple of extra pieces of some things if we wanted to add some extra sort of pizzazz to things, like I could do something like this. And then, oh no. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Let's just, there you go, redo something like that, just on the sides of it to make it look cool. And what could we put in the center of that? I guess just uh, put some more of these things, like that there, this one here, and across like that. There you go, I think that looks fun. Haven't really used much of these gray pieces, but I don't really need to. Uh, we are going to simulate this, so yeah, there's a big weight on there. That test set out pretty well. We're good to go, so our balcony has been created. Milady, if you were a rose, you would smell so good. But like if I, but like if I could smell you with my nose and my eyes, you know? Thanks you two, the balcony is perfect. Take this coin, I've got a concert to perform. All right then, can be exchanged for goods and services again. A huge shout out to these weirdos for helping fix up all of our problems. Let's pour one out for to our friends who didn't make it because they went to the other minstrel's party. From, from the Bailey to the yard, no more sickness in these halls. Okay, so. The fence of my chickens broke down due to an incident. Can you please repair it so they don't try to run away? Thanks, that'd be great. All right then, so I just, yeah, go right here and build. Build a fence for the chickens. That shouldn't be too bad, right? So, wait, is it just as simple as putting a couple across? I'm a little confused. So, yeah, what if I, this is don't let the chicken escape from the area, wait some time. So if I were just to do this, and then, hmm. Actually, let's not even, let's just do this one. Or maybe even get these across. And just do this really quickly. I wanna see, if, would this stop them? No, okay, they know to just jump over little things like that. So, they're smart chickens. You gotta be careful with that kind of thing. So, what if I were to invert those though? Make them like this. Nope, they still jump over just fine. So they can get over some pretty high surfaces. And I might just wanna keep adding to this until I sort of figure it out, like, or simulate that. Now they just stand there. <laughs> okay, well, you know what? We'll keep it like that. Pretty simple. The fence looks beautiful. Thank you so much. As a, as a reward, please take this shiny gold coin. So up to three coins so far, we're doing pretty good. I don't know how many we needed to make a proper pile of them. I don't know if I can help you out at all. 
Uh, the old well was in a desolate state, so I wanted to build a new one, but right now I don't feel so well. Well, 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 if it isn't the well builder. You can't be so nonchalant about your job. We'll help you build the well. All right then, so yeah, well, let's help out here. Build a well for Bailey. So we're helping a lot of people out at this point. So for this one, we need to place the bucket over the water. Nothing may break, we need to wait some time. So I think at first, you know, we obviously need some kind of curved pieces around it. So yeah, we'll do this. And this'll help and just sort of build some foundation. We, we have four more of these, so I could just go one higher with all of them. I think that's a good idea. But what do I want to put in the between spots is the question. Because um, I can't really move them together. Yeah, that wouldn't really work. That's sort of odd. They don't really provide too many pieces for that. Um, but I, I got these, so I guess I'll try these out. Oh, no, not in the water. Undo. There you go. Be just more of this, building up this well a little bit. Got it, put this here. And this one. There we go, we're, we're, we're building some stuff up. I think that's the last of those pieces, it is. So there we go, we have the base of our well already looking good. What I could try to do already, just so we, we, we gotta get the function figured out first. First the function, and then the pizzazz. So if we wanted to, from here, we could actually add a couple of cool things. So I could add these little, corner pieces. Oh no, oh wait. It's so easy to accidentally grab the wrong thing. And got it. Okay, so now what I wanna do is just pull things up a little bit more, I think. That looks good. It's a little bulky on the sides, but I don't think that's too big of a deal. And then from here, what we could do is just put together a little Top of it, yeah, just like this. I think this looks cool. Got it, and then one on this side. Okay, I thought I grabbed the wrong color there, but I think I was actually fine. And then you could add one of these to the top. You know, it's not the most crazy thing. The only problem is it's not very open. It's sort of probably hard to reach in there to actually get the water, but not my problem. I'm designing for, for looks. <laughs> okay, finish with that, and there we go. We get our nice little well. Thanks for your help. Have a coin. Uh, can we exchange? Of course, just like all the other ones. Uh, for anyone wondering, I still feel p pretty terrible. Just so you know, a status update. <laughs> so let's see, does anybody else need some help? I'm guessing we need five coins. Good luck on the rest of your quest. So you don't need any help, I've already really helped you. Thank you for the helping me, unfortunately I still feel terrible. But what about you? You've done a great job so far. Everyone has here has been helped. Check inside the castle in case anyone still needs assistance. All right then, so there's sort of our uh, track keeper, I guess. Uh, they're keeping track of everything. But, uh, oh, the chef probably needs some assistance, right? What shall we do? All people are sick. I hope it's not my food. Okay, never mind. Somebody here, I need to be able to help, right? So far, no, but somewhere around here, I'm gonna have to be able to help somebody. You gotta just be able to give me some coins. You're the king, you, you tax everyone. What's taking so long? My coffers are nearly empty. Uh, I mean, my people are suffering. Oh, please, you have to help. I'm trying. The dragon's not to blame, I'm told, and now you need some shiny gold? I have some gold I'm happy to trade if you help the townsfolk who need our aid. These people needed help when I last checked. The minstrel chicken keeper, well builder, phew, why did I write this line so long? And the architect. I also require assistance. The throne and the statue here are broken. Must must and must be fixed by the ki at the king's assistance or insistence. Phew. Okay, you can clap now. That was part of the performance of my entire career. <laughs> okay, so there's a couple things to figure out here. What is this? Inspect. Looks like we need to find some parts for the statue scene, namely a statue of the king and some artificial flowers. Let's talk to the jester if she knows where to find them. Okay, so we don't have the things we need for that one. To build the statue scene, we need some parts. Do you know where we could find some? Hmm, the statue scene is missing parts, you say? I can't say for sure, but maybe you'll find what you need in the treasury. You can find the entrance to the left of the throne. Here, take the key. All right, so get the treasury key. Grants access to the treasury. Don't touch the tax money coffers. All right, then. 
So let's, at the in the meantime, build a fancy throne for the king. The king still needs this, so let's help them out. Uh, hmm. Lots of ways we could do this at first, but we need to place a seat above the floor, place a crown above the seat, and nothing may break. Then we gotta wait some time. So I could do something like this. You just build it up a little bit so it's nice and fancy. We gotta get these big fancy armrests on the side for sure. Yeah, let's get the chair in now so I can sort of get a sense of space. Something like that would be good. Um, so the seat is above the floor. And then on the sides of it, ooh, we could flip these over, do something like that. I like it, I like it. Oh no, undo, flip it, no. Why can I not duplicate it? Oh, because there's only one of them. Oh, I see. Um, but then put this one right there. Okay, looking good. Um, hmm, we need to work on the backrest though, definitely. So I'm thinking we will put this here, put that there, and then we need to flip this one, just like that. Is there any, yeah, pieces like this is what I'm looking for. And then we wanna raise that and raise it again. There we go, putting together that backboard a little bit. I mean, we might wanna make it red. Yeah, that might be better. That way it looks like the felt. Okay, so I want this on the bottom, if, it, if it's willing. Come on, got it. There we go, much better. And then what about these? I guess it could work as like a carpet. Oh, that's cool, I do like that. And then, hmm. It's sort of floating in the back, but that doesn't matter too much, I don't think. I guess what we could do is we could, oh no, I'm getting pieces everywhere. I could just put this here for now. That's definitely where it's supposed to go. Perfect. So now nothing may break and all the other stuff. I might want to add some extra you know, golden leaf pizzazz. Sounds fun. No, come on. Undo. Can I fit that in there? I guess I can't. What a shame. Uh, th th there must be some way to fit those in, right? I would think. Can this fit in there? I guess not. You can't really fit things in between corner pieces like that. So we might just leave this. Let's simulate it. Nothing may break, we gotta wait to make sure, but there we go. What a fancy throne. So that should make them happy, right? If we talk to them again. If gold you need to cure the flu, repair the throne and big statue. And don't forget to help the architect. All right then, so we'll go help the architect soon, but let's go into the treasury first. Let's see, you know, we could just get money from here, right? It would help the town. You think sometimes you gotta spend money to make money? This is one of those situations. Okay, so let's uh, get the ladybug, 15 more to find that, but, oh, is this, this is the statue, that scared me for a second, I thought somebody had fallen ill in here. Uh, statue of the king, commissioned by the king, looks significantly better than the actual king. <laughs> Just grab a couple coins, that's all we would need. Be for the greater good, right? Oh, can I not interact with this? Weird. Oh, but this is the shop. Yeah, let's enter here then. Hello there, boo, how are you? Oi, you like what you see? My wares can be all yours if you've got some drumsticks. Well, I have 50 of them at the moment, so I'll try to buy a couple. Like, we have the Jester shirt for 22. All right. Um, yeah, if I could buy the Jester's outfit, that'd be cool. Um, the Jester's pants for 12 drumsticks. And then, how about this one? Oh, I need two more, two more drumsticks. I'd be able to finish the Jester costume. I'll be back. I will definitely be back. I feel like we haven't gotten as many as we usually get. That's why searching around is going to be very important. Uh, let's try up here, first and foremost. I see um, some artificial flowers. They look so real, you can almost smell them. We have all the parts we need for the statue scene now. Very cool, so I'll go do that in a moment, but for right now, there is a couple of chests I can open up that'll have uh, nothing. Better than nothing at all. O okay, um, you got me excited here. We get the bird. Is this gonna be nothing again? You bet it's nothing. And what about this one? I can't even reach it. What a letdown. I just need a couple more drumsticks. I thought I was covered there, but I guess not. And this looks like something you would need the lasso for, but we haven't been able to use that since the jungle, so I guess not. Anyway, there's some place to go over here. I can slam on this stuff to get another bunny saved for the magician. How many more do we need? 15, of course. There's just so much more to find and get. And I can't quite get over there. 
darn. Once I get that ability, I hope that that's what we get in today's episode, is the blue glowing ability. Because it seems like each area we're getting some kind of ability, but maybe not this one, who knows. Uh, either way, we're good to leave for now. I will come back once I get more drumsticks for sure, because I'd like to change the costume at least once per episode. Um, but let's build. Create a glorious statue scene in the king's honor. So, whoa, look at this one. So, I'm guessing the idea is he's at least 10 build elements, place the king, nothing may break, and we need to wait some time. So, here's the king. Uh, we could try to put together some diorama of like the castle in the background. Yeah, that would be cool. Hmm. I'm trying to figure out exactly how these might fit together. But, oh no, no. Don't need that quite yet. No, out of the way. Hmm, I feel like there's not a ton of room. Let's see. Because of course we could have just the big dragon and the king. He's hanging out. He's gonna give the king or give the dragon a bunch of money. And then this person's just running away. There we go. Um and we'll get some extra money on the ground just to illustrate how much cash this is. There we go. A little extra right there, and a little bit more right there. Very cool. Uh, and then, I guess we'll just have the castle in the background? Yeah, something like that. I don't know if that will quite fit, unfortunately. Not unless I move this over and this forward. There we go. Unfortunately, it still doesn't quite fit in. I don't know why. Oh, there it goes. It doesn't really look very good with how it currently is, though. So, hmm. Maybe I'll just do this one. There we go. Good enough, I think. And then, if this can just slide in. Right there. Perfect. It's just like a little castle wall in the background. I think that's good. Add a couple of uh, flowers and plants as a little decor thing. And we can simulate. Wait, what happened to the dragon? Uh, I don't know. Oh, that wasn't on there properly to begin with. Okay. Why not? Uh, I guess it was poking out the back or something. Okay, um. You know what, I guess no dragon, because I, I don't know how to fit that with everything else. What is that, these two, enjoying some money? <laughs> good enough, right, good enough. Uh, and we're good. I'll take it. My thanks to you, to you, Nell. Here's your gold, just as I something something told. Oh, my gesture shift just ended. Phew, I was running out of rhymes. Wait, you don't talk like this all the time? What can I say? A job's a job. I actually hate poetry. Anyway, here's your payment. Only one gold coin? But we fixed two things. Listen up, bud. Gesturing is a competitive marketplace. I'm not paid half of what I'm worth. All right then, so gold coin there. Glad we can at least get something. Have you helped the architect? I have not, so that's what we're gonna go do now. So that was uh, right at the staircase over this way. It's the last person we need to interact with, so I definitely just wanna help them as much as we can. Okay, going over, and we'll talk to you. Ugh, help me, I've come down with the sickness. Ugh, oh, this cough is awful. How can we help? I need to create a new design for the castle crenellations. Cr Maybe something flashy. I'm thinking late gothic with some art nouveau flair. But I'm too sick to care anymore. Can you just make the crenellations for me? Sure, I don't quite know what a crenellation is. Design wall segments with crenellations for the castle's walls. Huh, I have no clue. I think it's a little thing under it. So I guess it's something very simple. Could work just fine. Something like this. Cover the dotted area underneath the bricks. Oh, I see, okay, so I can't really use those there. Um, but I also can't get anything over it? Oh no, I can. Okay. So I could do something like this. I just gotta make sure that the underside is covered. Oh, is that all the ones I have? I think it is. No, it's not, there's more of them. I don't know why it wasn't letting me do more. Oh no, they are different. Oh, they're different colors. I didn't even see that. They're very similar colors, so easy to get that mixed up. There you go. Um, hmm. 
And then I could maybe... Let's see. I guess just this for now if I wanted to. And we could finish it like that. Nothing too crazy, you can see it on the left there. Wow, such flair, such dramatic lines and flowing curves. You truly are an architectural visionary. Here's your payment, as promised. All right then, so we get our six gold coin, I think? That should do it. We have a pile of coins now. How do I know? I overheard the king talking about dragon gold exchange rates, and he said, the latest dragon gold market estimates claim that three coins is a few, four is a bunch, five is a handful, and six is a pile. Very cool. I s still feel awful. I'm so sorry. Uh, what's over here then? Oh, that's where we came from. So, yeah, still no extra drumsticks. I need two more at some point, but for right now, we're going to make that dragon super duper happy, and that'll be great. So, let's run back over there and just interact with what we can. All right, Miss Dragon, I'm here with your pile of coins. You should be as happy as can be, right? Hey, here's your pile of gold. Ah, I see. So you understand what the, a pile means. Give me all of that and I'll let you pass. Here. Whoa, it's a decent little pile for sure, for sure. And we can just go in, investigate the spring. Whoa, look at this place. It's definitely green in here. Oh, and we get a new ability. Here we go. So what is this thing? Oh my gosh. That sinks all of the water. Whoa. Woo, cool. I can produce and dispense water now. Let's go and see what we can do with that. Hold shift to shoot a jet of water. That's interesting. So where do I want to shoot that thing? Here? Doesn't seem to be doing much. Maybe over there? You can see that there's some blue stuff glowing. I can't quite reach it. Huh. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what I do with this stuff, but there's gotta be something somewhere. Oh, I can just climb down, it's a ladder. Hard to see from this angle, can you blame me? All right then, so let's interact with some things here. We got this. Whoa, 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 okay, okay, okay. Let's put it back like that, I guess? Hmm, all right. Um, yeah, I can't use those other things they are sort of blocked at the moment, but I can interact with this to get the smash skill, run back over here, and smash these boxes for maybe something. Um, well, it sort of looks like it. Let's go down. Aha, so this is what polluted the water and is making people sick. It's some kind of magical potion. Yeah, let's pick that up. The suspicious potion, warning, do not drink and the water turns back to normal. Now, who do we know who has a bunch of magic potions? Maybe the magician? We'll switch back to the water skill, and we'll climb back up the ladder, and try to find our way out of here, I guess, for now. Okay, it looks like there might be more things to smash over this way, but I'll just, boom, do a bit of that. Oh, well, I have the, the smash skill again, so I guess I'll just keep with that. Uh and go this way? Huh, how am I getting over there? Maybe I could move this lever again and do something like that, but that doesn't really lead anywhere. I could do this, but obviously how am I getting over? Not a way that I see, so this is where things get a little complicated. Um, I guess I'll just go back the way I came for now? If I can even do that. I don't think I can. See, I don't know quite where to go from here. Oh, there we go, I was able to fill this up. Gotcha. Okay, that was neat. And then I can lower this. All right. Interesting. So I'm still sort of figuring out how exactly I can use different parts of this water ability, but that's one way. Then I can interact with this thing and turn it around different ways. We'll do that one for now. And then we can get to that lever over there, which was glowing blue before I was able to sort of walk up to it and water it. Can we interact with it now? We can. Whoa, so that'll lower that. But if I want to get all the way over there, I'm gonna have to get to that red thing up there. So yeah, let's get over to this side. Interact with this. And hope for the best that this is all I gotta get through. Boom, got it. 
Now let's climb up here. Oh, there's more. Okay, so let's get across to here, get the water skill again, and fill up this one. Oh no, it can be difficult to line that up. There we go, we just gotta fill the well up, and that'll help me get across to here. Which, we've been here before, but now with the water raised, I should be able to get back from once we came. Which, wait, is there anything in this corner? There's not, okay. Uh, so, yeah, that's where I'm a little curious about these little piles, right? They're, they're glowing blue, what if I watered them? Oh, it sort of washes away all the dirt. Okay, that's actually perfect. Here, hold on, let you, let's do a little bit more. And, oh, here's another smashing thing. Perfect, okay, so, select the smash skill so that we can smash through this and get a big treasure chest. Okay, we've figured it out. So whenever we see anything glowing blue, we can wash it away with the water ability. And we get ourselves a whopping 50 drumsticks. Our tummy's gonna be full if we decide to eat it, or we can use it to uh, get more costumes, which I definitely wanna finish the gesture costume, but there's plenty more to do, but for right now, what's happening? We gotta get back down that way, of course, but what can we do in the meantime? You can see there's a purple thing here under that dirt. Hey, look at the water, it's pure again. Do you think this would be a way for us to heal all the sick people? I sure hope so. For right now, if I just switch this back to water. Oh no. There we go. I still don't really have much I can do with the purple thing, but to get it uncovered is good. Can I talk to the dragon again? The wizard? What a sickening twist. What's worse is that the magical guild will lose its only existing member besides you and I. Any hoodles, thanks for helping out the little castle folk. It's been a blast and a half getting to know you two bros. Peace, love, and gold. All right, thank you, formidable dragon. So very interesting character for sure. We should go talk to the wizard too and see what they have to say. If they've been the one poisoning the water, I would certainly think, you know, We'd wanna give them a piece of our mind. Is there anything else around here I can do? Probably not anything I wanna explore right now. Let's focus on the main story. That's obviously what takes the most time and energy, so eventually we'll go back through the medieval world to uh, get more things accomplished. But for right now, it's not anything I'm going to worry about too much. I do wanna see, for the sake of the story, what the magician might say though, so let's go interact with them. Let's see, you're right up here. Hello? Hey Wiz, we need to talk to... Yeah, yeah, you investigated the pool and found the potion I accidentally dropped. I was too afraid to admit it, so I simply let the king think the dragon was to blame. Let's keep this just between us, right? No one needs to know about one tiny little oopsie. So that's why he knew the whole story to begin with. All right, let's water this out. I see the little bunny stuck in the dirt. Don't worry, I'll save you. Much better. Let's interact with you, and that's going to be another rabbit. 14 more to go. Slowly chipping through him. Yeah, let's go across to here. And get back into the castle where everybody is hopefully feeling a lot better. Yeah, I mean, seems like it. Oh, well, no, some of them definitely still look sick. Yeah, let's talk to the king then. So the water is clean again, finally. Took you long enough to slay that stinky w lizard. As it so happens, the dragon is still alive. Without her help, we couldn't have learned that somehow someone else did the polluting. Even if that is true, what's most important now is that you heal my people. Double time. My revenue streams are running dry. Get those people working again. If you need me, I'll be in my throne room admiring my striking geometric form. Okay, well, he's off. What's he admiring? He's literally the same shape as everyone else. Anyway. The water's clean now, but people are still sick. Maybe the new water powers can cure them. Let's go try. So maybe I just have to tell them? Oh, my water powers, I see what you mean. So if I water them, you just wash away all their sickness. All right, I just feel swell. Everything's gone back to normal. Well, except their village is now rated number one for quality of life and surfed them quarterly. <laughs> Interesting. All right then, so let's, let's talk to the smith. Good luck on the rest of your quest. It's actually completed, so no worries. Let's go ahead and water you up a little bit, the, the coal person, the, the char burner. Thank you for healing me. No problem. I'm feeling a lot better. You've done a great job. Everyone has been helped. So was there more sick people around? I think that was sort of it, right, those two? Well, there were the two guards as well, so let's go and heal them. But that should be the most of 
whoever was feeling a little down. So, yeah, let's heal you up. Finally, the miserable feeling in my stomach is gone and I can return to my duties. All right then, so, oh no. Let's do that and help you out too. There we go. Thank you for healing me. My thanks, hero. You have my thanks, young hero. All right, thank you very much. See, I think that's about it. If I have other things to clean up, I might as well. Is this not working? It sort of is, it's just not the best angle, I guess. Let's try it from here. Oh no, come on. Why is it doing that? <laughs> I don't know. It sometimes will turn, sometimes won't. There we go, much better. Doesn't look like there's, oh, there's a little ladybug. I was gonna say, there doesn't look like there's much there. 14 more to go with that one, but uh, we'll talk to the jester and then the king. I wonder who's responsible for this. Well, apparently the magician. Please heal all the sick people. Oh yeah, that's right, there's the, I forgot the architect. Let's go and heal them. Okay, so little architect right here. I just wanna heal you up just like that. There we go. I feel simply divine, as if I could build my masterpiece. I already had the perfect name, the pristine chapel. I think that's everyone's he that's everyone healed, right? We should make sure before we go talk to the king. Thank you for curing me. I became an architect to avoid dangerous situations, so it would have been so annoying to die in my office. I guess so. Let's go back down there and talk to the king for real. Sorry about that, I forgot about the architect. She's just so off to the side that it's easy for it to slip my mind. All right, Mr. King. Actually, before we do, because that's gonna make a happiness crystal and stuff, right? If everybody is perfect and happy, let's go and get our jester costume. I just wanna get that purchased and equipped, and we might have enough to get the rest of the other costume too. We'll have to wait and see, but for right now, let's just get over here and purchase that. So for 18 drumsticks, we can get the jester's cap, and then we also get the Dragon Knight chainmail. Um, why would I want silly messages everyone sent to each other? Oh, different kind of chainmail. <laughs> And then the Dragonite helmet, not guaranteed to protect against dragons. So if we go to our wardrobe really quickly, we'll equip some of this stuff. So we have the Jester's Cap. The jingling bells allow friends and family to know where you are at all times. Just like a cat. So we can wear that. Uh, the body for the Jester. Uh, good for trying to look the fool. And then finally, the Jester pants. One color for each leg is a bold fashion statement. Very nice. So we look very funny. And we have enough that we can maybe, oh no, we only have 10, so not quite gonna be able to afford any of these, but we'll come back once we explore this area once again in the future. For now, back to the king, which was right over here, was it? Uh, no, it wasn't, okay. <laughs> it's hard to find my way around here, I think it was this one. Yeah, that's a lot better, okay. So let's talk to the king, we, we completed our quest. About time, my people are well again, but what about my money? Well, someone needed to take care of for your people, your majesty. Random thought, do you think they would like enough, like you enough to let you keep ruling them? Um, I haven't announced, but everyone, thanks to these two heroes, I wish to impose a new decree. Free healthcare, comprehensive education, and guaranteed housing for all. Please be nice to me. About the matter of the poison water, if it wasn't the scaly thing, Holmes could have done it. Well, it was a magician. Well, do I need to do something about the magician? I wonder who's responsible for this. I guess maybe I have to go see the magician now. I don't, I don't know what the, what does the game want me to do? Uh, find the culprit. I know who the culprit is. So I just gotta go back to the wizard's hut? So we're back at the hut. Maybe they'll have something to say? Because if not, I'm not really sure what I do next. Uh, well, here you are, I have found the culprit. Let's keep this just between us, right? No one needs to know about one tiny little oopsie. Nope, you're in trouble. If you just come clean right away, we could forgive you, but you hurt a lot of people. Oh, ho, 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 well fine then. I'll face my punishment with grace. I just hope he doesn't swap my face. All right, so he's actually going off. That's pretty noble. Report back to the kinks. I gotta run all the way back now. Okay, so we're back here. The, the, the magician is still here, the wizard. I'm sure the king won't hold all, all of this against me, right? We've been in the same golf club for years. Wait, you know what golf is? I'm a wizard, I can see the future. It seemed like a good way to get the king to like me more. All right then, let's go to the king. Tell them all about what's going on over here. 
exactly who did it. No, the wizard? It can't be true. We spoke about the possible cause and he said the dragon was to blame. He will be punished, but how? Perhaps I will swap out his head and face for a blank head with no face. No, that's far too cruel. He's been brought by the guards too. You lied to me and allowed my people to come to harm. You seem so serious and important. But you are actually a stupid head and also very silly and you'll be punished. I'm not not a stupid. I'm not stupid anymore, I'm sorry. I was just afraid. Nope, you're a silly stupid head, so you're going to be my new jester. This is so silly. No, anything but that. Jester, you're the new court wizard. We all good? Everyone happy? Great, all that rolling made me hungry. If anyone needs me, I'll be counting my gold and eating a whole goose in my me-sized bed. Oh, and thank you, oh, because it's a king size bed. Oh, and thank you both very much for your help. You've made this a much better place. As a celebration of your heroic actions, I want to host a big festival. For what that, we need a feast. Find out if the chi kitchen chef needs any help. Oh, so we're actually not done. There's still more to do. See, if we take a look, we are still 88% through the story. I can't believe there's more. Uh, let's go help out the kitchen chef right down this way. Hello. This is a disaster. How am I supposed to serve a feast if the banquet table is broken? Maybe you can help me fix it. I would love to. Help the kitchen chef. Oh, right over here. Okay, so build a solid, slightly, or slightly banquet table. So for this one, we need to cover the dotted area from the top with bricks. Nothing may break, and we need to wait some time. So I think for this one, to start things out, we probably just want the legs of the table. Just like that. And then from there, Give it a couple extra spins. Uh, yeah, we could put that there. Same thing on that side. And we already are starting to build some things up here quite a lot. So what I could do, is this too wide? It is, but at the same time, maybe that'll look nice. Well, I don't know if I can actually do that first. Um, hmm. I'm trying to figure out how, what's the best way to, cause I could do something like this. How many of these do I have though? Not enough to do all that, so maybe I'll just do something like this for now. Do the same thing on the other side. There you go, so all the bases are sort of covered, but that's too tall, actually, I'm just now noticing. Hmm. My only problem is, you know, if I do something like this, oh gosh, uh, there's not too much way for it to be covered up well in the center. Like, it's not very sturdy in the center. So, I do have 12 of these, though. So maybe just stacking it up like that would make it sturdy again. And that would also cover up my requirement for covering the dotted area. The problem is this spot. But I could just do this instead. Oh. Maybe that's what I'm supposed to do from the beginning? Yeah, like this. Got it. And I still actually have four pieces left over if I wanted to. That's fine for now though. I was sort of hoping maybe for some like red, like fancy carpet or something. We don't really get too much of that, so. Hmm. I might just want to keep it simple then. You know, a big banquet table, but that also. Hmm. <laughs> we could leave it like this, but it's just very underwhelming. Um, If I put these here, that also counts. The problem is you just can't make it very tall. So I might just leave it like this. We won't go too crazy with this table. That way we can just keep moving on with the story. There we go. No! <laughs> Dinner's ruined! Okay, I can't quite do that. Um, I think that's why I need them across. So, whatever. If it doesn't look the prettiest, that's fine. As long as it keeps everything held together better, then that's more important, of course. Let's see. Nope, it still falls apart. Okay, uh, good to know. How do I fix that? I think, hmm. Maybe I am going about this wrong? Hold on. What if I did, w would this make it sturdier? If I were to do it like this, I'm trying to figure out. It does make it a little bit sturdier, but you can see it's still falling apart in some spots. So, 
what if I did that? Okay, hold on. And then, seems like doing it across, even if it sort of peeks out a little bit at the edge there. Maybe that's just better. Let's see. That does hold on a little bit more, but why is it falling apart at the legs? I was not expecting that. So, I guess we need sturdier legs. I guess we could, you know, do something like this, but then, would that really be a good idea? <laughs> We're gonna find out. <laughs> it feels silly, but uh, then I can just, no, no, no. Move everything downwards. Just like that. No, no, no. And then, yeah, just do the same thing with everything else here. Then, of course, we're gonna have to build it up so that it's actually... Okay, there's so much stuff on the screen, it sort of gets hard to tell what's where. But I just wanted to simulate this. Oh, wait, what? Oh, because this is... Oh, I see, there you go. Simulate. That's even less sturdy, everything breaks. Jeez, building a table is tough. Okay, I think I, I finally found the design. The legs right here, as you can see, I can um have these like these little shapes and like that. The problem is you just cannot build anything very tall in this at all. And that just leaves a very limited amount of space to actually do stuff, but this seems like it's good. So what I have is like underneath it, as you can see, it's sort of like this and then it goes the other direction. Um, so let's simulate that one more time, having that sort of crisscross really does help. So we'll finish it there. Big table, lots of food. Everyone's gonna have a nice big feast. Splendid, wonderful, magnificent. Think of all the taxes. <clears throat> um, all the happy citizens in my kingdom. Thank you for helping us. Let us celebrate. Hooray! So we got a nice big dinner to celebrate all of our victory and our happiness crystal. So there we go. We figured out the medieval world. We helped everybody have a happy, happy time. Can I talk to anybody more? Um, a little bit. Compliments to the chef on the lovely feast, and the, to the two of you for the splendid banquet table. I can talk to some of them, sort of. Uh, the tomato basil soup needed two more basil leaves, so otherwise everything is perfect. Hello. The food looks good. Can I have some? Oh, I'm just gonna serve myself. A wizard, a witch, and a warlock walk into an apothecary. Oh, you've heard this one? I have not. Um, a really reaching some, nom, nom, nom. <laughs> nice face, that's what, that's what it's supposed to mean. Okay, I can't quite talk to the gesture, unfortunately. That's okay, we can grab our happiness crystal and get out of here. What an adventure it's been. We got the power, very cool. And another one. So obviously we're not quite done, we need to go back to Gramps, give them this happiness crystal, and build a, probably another amusement park ride. But still, that was some great work. It seems we have gathered enough energy to perform another large scale transformation. I'm, pr I'm sure your grandpa is already waiting for us at the next area. Hey, over here. So let's go talk to Gramps, right over here. Let's power the transformation device. Let's power it with the energy you gathered from the medieval world. So, meeting dragons and wizards and kings alike, Whoa, makes a little boat ride, that's cool. It worked again. How about you design all the parts for this attraction now? Sure, so for this one, we just gotta get over here and put together these little boats. Like I said before, when we did this with the roller coaster ones, I don't wanna go too crazy, just because we spent a lot of time in today's episode doing everything else. I don't know what these are supposed to be, but I will just do this. It needs to be at least five building elements though, so it'll look like some kind of weird wooden torpedo or something, I don't know. Uh, finish, there you go. <laughs> what about this one? Uh, build an elegant white swan. Oh, that was supposed to be a duck? Okay, well now I wanna build an actual duck. Yeah, build a nice duck for the boat ride. Okay, I see what these pieces are supposed to be now. Um, that is a little tricky, but we do have a lot of space for it. Okay, yeah, now, now I totally see. I don't know how I missed that. Um, but I guess, hmm. If I could get something like that here, and then like that, I think that they would fit right there. Hmm. 
a little tricky, isn't it? Um, but I guess something like that, if we could, just like a little duck like that, it looks pretty cool. I just wish I could maybe, ah, darn. Um, what if I did this instead? Sort of the same difference. Um, Cause I just wanna get this here. It's not exactly perfect, <laughs> it looks a little silly. But you know what, if it's good enough, I'll move on with that one and we'll try the white swan. Okay, so sort of the same deal. I guess what we could do here yeah, do something like this. Ooh, that's cool. So there we go, there's already the, the main portion of it. Then I can do this. Actually, maybe even this one. Oh, I only have one of those pieces? No, the other one's right here. There you go. Uh, then can I put you here? Unfortunately, no, 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 I thought that'd make you too tall, but there we go, that's perfect. Then maybe something like that there. I don't know why I only get one of those. I'll do that to the other side, I suppose. Is this just one wide? It's too wide. Oh no. Got it. And then I will put this here. We actually used all the pieces for this one. Nice, there we go. And then over on this side, build an exotic flamingo for the boat ride. This is fun, I actually like this one the most so far. Uh, how do I wanna do this one? Seems like there's a lot I could do. I'll keep with something like this, yeah. Put the flamingo out in front like that. Put the rider in there. Get the little handlebars for them. This is the tail for the back. And we can put this on the back side like that. Very cool. Um, I don't think it's perfect, but I think it works for what we're after. We could. I only get one of these, unfortunately. I don't know if this would fit on there. What is that? That's not what I wanted. Yeah, not quite, not quite. So, well, actually, I have another one of these. Maybe with that? Not quite, okay. We'll just leave it like this then. I'll move some of those over there. And then this one here. It's not the most perfect, but it looks like a flamingo and it looks fun. So, I'm glad to take that. So there we go, all of our little rides, a little boat float. Looks good, I'm sure people will like. A nice and relaxing boat ride. Just the right thing after this roller coaster. Why yes, took the words right out of my mouth. Okay, looks good. Uh, great, where to next? Just a moment, setting up new destination. Ooh. So I guess we're headed over here next episode, the city. Ooh, that's gonna be cool. So from the medieval castle to a bustling city, that'll be a lot of fun. But for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Lego Brick Tales. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.